Well, today on Nation, a window cleaning podcast, we're talking all about how to make money with route window cleaning. So if you're doing route or you're not, but thinking about it, either way, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. How's it going? I hope you are having an awesome week, and if it's your first time here, have a look around. We have hundreds, literally hundreds of episodes for you to catch up on. Watch, binge, listen, it's anywhere podcasts are, and of course, also on YouTube. I have more of a face for radio, but, eh, you know, played in the background. Uh, But if you are one of the cool kids, which I hope all of you are, if you're one of the cool kids, it means you watch every episode. You've, of course, given me the thumbs up on our videos, but more important, shameless plug, you order your supplies through me. Well, what's up? Thank you so much. It is because of you. Because of you, I can afford my lavish hair gel uh, expenses, bills. Thank you. (laughs) If you want a rep in window cleaning or you want uh, somebody to help put your supplies in or you just want to give me like a virtual high five, Let me put your orders in. Just shoot me a text at 862-312-2026. If you got questions or anything, obviously ask away. I would love to be your rep, but just say, hey, man, I got everything in my cart. I'll verify your address, put it all in. I push go on it instead of you, and it costs you nothing extra. And then you have a rep. And then I can afford more hair gel. Anyway. Uh, No, but I am a rep for windowcleaner.com, window cleaning resource, the greatest place to get window cleaning supplies. So let me be a rep there. On another note, you're watching or listening to a podcast about window cleaning. That means you're into window cleaning. That means you're trying to better yourself even more. You're going to be the greatest window cleaner in your area or even the world, right? Why not get American Window Cleaner Magazine? Yes, there's an actual magazine, paper magazine. You can hear the crumpling if you're not watching the video. But it is a magazine that comes to your door every single month with stickers window cleaning stickers to put on your buckets on your trucks on anything just be in the uh, industry join the culture of window cleaning be one of the mega ultra cool kids go to awcmag.com that's american window cleaner magazine and get a subscription because that also helps me and i want everybody to have a subscription I would love nothing more than that. So go there, check it out. If you want to buy stickers, by the way, there's some killer packages, tons of bundles, uh, just tons of that kind of stuff. So go to awcmag.com and get all of that good stuff. Okay, anyway, all of that babbling is done in the beginning of the show, but we are talking all about route window cleaning, which some people hate on. Some people hate on route window cleaning because when you start a route you lose money not you may lose money you're going to lose money or let me rephrase you're not going to necessarily lose money you're not going to make money and the real reason is is because when you are doing route the first one you're doing a 10 20 30 dollar job and it's way far away from anything you're doing and that's all you have. And people go, well, I don't know why anybody would do route. But route is absolutely one of my favorite types of window cleaning. There's three types, if you didn't know. Route, residential, and a commercial. Commercial just being bigger buildings, but something less frequent than, you know, once a month. But route and building a route is the most amount of frequency or almost guaranteed money that we can have in window cleaning. By far by far so if you're not doing route i think you're missing out but it's your company do your thing who am i i'm just some dude who sits in front of a computer and uh a sticker wall (laughs) right but i love route i do i really do there's a place for all of it too um i really really like to have route fill in the gaps frequency residential fill in the busy times commercial fill in the pre-busy times it's just a really nice uh kind of relationship but with route there's a few things you gotta have to do 
Route is a little bit more specific in what you're doing, but again, with Route, you can make more money than you do now on Route. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Route, unlike residential window cleaning, like if you're doing a house for $299, there's no way for you to make more than $299 in that house. There's no real way for you to make more per hour or for you to do it's it's just that's what it is you're there at the property it's going to take you x amount of time it is what it is right but with route route is not one job route is not one week of work route is an entire i like monster it is an amoeba it is a giant blob of jobs all together. And I'm going to explain how you can actually make more money with route. Now, the first thing you gotta focus on is what kills your hourly, what makes you make less and is drive time. Drive time or travel time kills your hourly. I know, some of you really pad your numbers when you're looking at it and go, well, you know, when I'm on a job, I'm making X amount per hour. Well, yeah, okay. But how did you get to that job, right? If that route job is an hour away, then it's really an hour and 10 minute job. I mean, obviously, right? Now, if you have employees that are working on commission, then it doesn't much matter for you because you're not paying them for the drive time, but it sure does matter to them. (laughs) It sure does matter to them. Right. So what you're trying to do is find a happy medium, a sweet spot, if you will. Right. You want to find a spot where um, the travel time makes sense. But the only way to do it is to limit your travel time. This doesn't mean you need a small route, but it means that when you start with route, pick an area and just start spiraling around that area. Maybe it's your shop, your office, your house. Maybe it's your storage unit if you have one. Right. Start there and work really, really hard at everything so your drive times are so small to begin with. Now, you're obviously going to get bigger with your route. You're going to pack in the times. You're going to get more work. But to start route, or even if you're newer in route, focus on the closer stuff. If it's a three-minute drive for a 10-minute job, that's a 13-minute job as compared to an hour and 10-minute job for the same amount of money, right? So remember that your travel time kills. Now, as you grow this thing, you're gonna eliminate your travel time because you're gonna fill all the inside. But to start, pick a point and just kinda go from that. I I had a a company call me uh, who had um, three route jobs. They were smaller, uh, but they said, hey, we don't want this area. We're going to start giving you all of our route work. Right now, we just have three, uh, but it's closer to you. I looked it up. It's like 45 minutes, 50 minutes away. Uh, Okay, so three jobs there. If I'm going to build the route from those three jobs, perfect. Those three jobs are my starting point. Those three jobs that they, they had were actually really pretty close. They were like five minutes from each other, right? So now, in my brain, because I'm already in one location and I'm doing my spiral, right, getting everything really super, super dense, and now this other one pops up, I don't necessarily have to say no. I just have to create a second starting point. If I create a second starting point, then I have one drive time to get there, and then I can work, right? So remember, travel time kills your hourly absolutely does higher frequency in jobs makes you more money that is 100 percent true right if you're cleaning a job once a month you're cleaning 30 days of dirt off the glass if you're doing that same job once a week you're only cleaning a week's worth of dirt off you're only cleaning a week's worth of dirt off the frames there's only so many fingerprints that can go on that window in a week right So if you can increase the frequency, you can increase the price. Not only are you making more money, obviously, anyway, 
But if you're doing a $20 job, and these numbers, I'm throwing out little numbers, but they could be big numbers, right? If you hear comments on YouTube or anywhere and just tell me what your average route job is, but not only are you making more money because obviously you're doing that four times a month as opposed to once a month, but each time you're there, you're cleaning it so much faster. So what happens is, on that particular job, you didn't get a second job. You just got a better frequency in my route. And again, I'm a nobody, so this is just take it with a grain of salt, right? But in my route, I will focus on weekly or biweekly, meaning every two weeks. I don't ever, ever, ever bring up monthly. I don't ever want a job monthly. A, we work on weeks, not months, right? One week, two weeks, four weeks. That's for rotation. We'll talk about that. But I don't want something every four weeks. That doesn't make any sense. You're telling me that you want 30 days of dirt? By day 28, your windows in your shop look like garbage. Like I'm not, I don't want to walk into something that looks gross. I have a, This is a real story. Okay, As a lot of you know, I have a little spot up in the mountains of Boone, North Carolina. Really, really nice, chill, awesome spot. Well, there's a little city up there uh, called Jefferson. And we went there for our second time ever, so I don't really know really the stores. It's a little quaint downtown. I have a bunch of daughters, so of course uh, they have to go shopping. We're walking, and I see this big sign that says Butcher. I'm like, oh, man, dude, I love going into Butcher's. I'm a meat eater. I, I, I like Butcher's. I like jerky and all that stuff, right? I want to see what this place has. But I'm looking at it. I'm like... Dang, man, this place is like out of business. They, they must have went out of business like a while ago, you know. And I'm looking at it all of a sudden as I'm seeing kind of, you know, disappointment because these windows are just jacked. I mean, this is like ridiculously dirty. You know that look when you see something that's gone out of business and nobody's touched it for months and you're like, oh, yeah, place is down. I kind of notice a little bit of movement through the glass and I kind of like look and I just kind of walk over casually to pull on the door and it opens. And no kidding, it is a butcher shop where no one is in. No one's in it. I mean, the employees, but everybody's standing there. As soon as I walk in the door, they're like, oh, hey, hey. Your store looked like it was closed. It looked like it was abandoned, actually. Now, because I was already there and I felt bad and I kind of wanted some, they had uh, sausages, like brats, if you know what those are from, you know, north. Um, I got a couple of those, but I was like, dude, I don't even barely want to buy food from you because your windows look so jacked up. Like, I don't, if you, if the outside presence is this dirty, the inside's probably just as dirty. Now, if you believe that in your head, which I totally do, if I'm looking at a restaurant and the outside is dirty, the inside's dirty. That's just what I translate to, right? Like if you take pride and i walk in and your your outside looks amazing and your windows are great and and all that stuff perfect perfect i feel like everything else looks good and is good if the outside's clean just like anything right if you walk into a place and the bushes are untrimmed and the grass is uncut you're like yeah these people don't care they're going out of business right so i believe that in my head so i can totally convince people to go weekly or bi-weekly because I know in my head that that's the best choice. But anyway, higher frequency makes everything go faster, not only make more money. Remember, uh, route is all about efficiencies. It's all about speed. And that's all about making the most money. Now, here's another thing to think about. Not only if you took all of your route jobs, say you have 10 jobs, could be 100. But you changed all of those from whatever the frequency is to every week. Now, not only did you make that much more money, but now you're only cleaning at max a week's worth of dirt. All of the jobs go faster. That means you speed everything up, which means same price. You make more per hour. If I can do a $20 job in 60 minutes, I'm making $20 an hour, right? If I do that same job in one minute, or let's see, what is that? 20 minutes, we'll say. Now I'm making... $60 an hour, right? 20 minutes, yeah. Now, if I can do that in 10 minutes, I'm making $120 an hour. Same job, 
it's the time that it takes you to do that, right? So if I can cut off a minute or two, I make more money on that job. If I can cut off a minute or two on a route, I make that much more on all of them, right? We're looking for efficiencies. Efficiencies is like a fancy word for saying speed. Because if I tell you I want to work faster, then people go, oh, that's faster means worse. No, efficiencies mean if you work faster, you make more money. If I have, say, an Ettore backflip set up so I could do one pass, I could do that twice as fast as I can do it with two passes. Well, I just made more money per hour. Now, when guys are like, no one makes money in, in route window clean, it's because you're doing it wrong. I average 65 an hour in route. But that's almost guaranteed every hour. I know that you can make more money in residential. I know that. But I also know that I have everything to do every week. I know exactly what we're doing. And if I can take one guy, because we're out, it's always one person, and I can fill up an entire week of weekly jobs, I just filled up an entire year for this guy. Rain, snow, sun, market, it doesn't matter, right? Yes, of course, people can drop. And we saw that with, you know, COVID and stuff. But as, as, as secured as we could get is route, Right? Here's another thing that kind of is contradictory to what you're thinking, but outs will make you faster. Only doing the outside window cleaning will make you more money than doing inside and outside. Now, in almost, not every, almost every storefront, they have limited space. So they end up putting stuff in front of the windows. Look at a C-Mart, right? A convenience store. If you look at any C store, they have boxes and pallets and just crap all over the store. Signs on the inside. What's on the outside? Nothing. Maybe a log pile you got to get around, but firewood or whatever. Outs will always make you more money. I can always do 10 outside windows loads faster than I can do the same 10 on the inside. So instead of looking for more money, we're looking for more speed. We're looking for more efficiencies. I will always only sell exterior route. And if somebody wants interior, I'll also price that. But I never price both of them. I only price outs. Outs are what get dirty the most. I can get weekly or biweekly service on outs way easier than I can ins and outs. And when I do ins, it takes me three times longer than doing just outs. So now my three times longer for twice the pay, I'm losing money. I'm making less money per hour because of that. And, and I can't get people to do the insides as much because they don't get as dirty. So focusing on just the outs will make you more money. It breaks your brain a little bit because you're like, okay, well, I always do inside and outside because I'm making twice the money inside and outside, right? Like on a house. Okay, yes, except when the insides take you three times longer. Like here's 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 a thing. You guys know what mullions are. Mullions are the grids that are in the window. There's removable ones and unremovable ones. There's Frenchies, all that stuff. But there are unremovable mullions that are only on the inside. So the exterior is one pane of glass. The interior is divided into six little panes of glass. And they're glued in mullions and they're a big pain in the butt and they're the stupidest design ever. But I've run into them a few times. So that same window inside and outside you're like oh man i'd love to get no you don't want ins because the in is going to take you six times longer than the outs well you can't charge six times the money right maybe you can try it if they say no great that makes you more money but on route it's the same thing the ins will always take you longer so if you can and i try do only outs or do ins on call i've done a lot of those too hey We'll do outs only, right? We're trying to get this done the most efficient way for you, the most economical way. And if the ins ever get super gnarly, you get a little kid in there who just got done eating pancakes with chocolate chip. They got syrup and chocolate all over the windows. And you get, just let me know. We'll always add that on if need be down the road. Now, I don't like to do that, but if once or twice a year they need the ins done, cool. But I'm not doing that all the time. Plus, if I can go in with a bid of $10 as opposed to $20 because outs only is half the cost of ins and outs, then it just looks better and it's a better sell, right? Route, unlike any other one, is trying to save money. So make it easier and do just outs. At least that's my opinion. I hate getting around signs, by the way. I don't like signs. 
I don't even like the perforated ones, but unfortunately we deal with those a lot, right? All that stuff just slows you down. And they put that stuff on and then take it off and put it on. And sometimes you have it, sometimes you don't. And it's like, well, we're, what are we bedding here? You know? Another thing to really speed up time is pre-printing invoices. If you can, the day before, print your invoices so that when you go to route, you can have them ready. There's two schools of thought to this, and I'm going to explain what I like. I walk in, I put the invoice on the counter, and I'll say, I'll be back in two seconds for this. Right? So now the person's pulling the money because a lot of it's till pay. If it's card, awesome. I don't even have to deal with that. But most of it's till pay. If they're writing me a check, they're doing whatever, I'm giving them that. And I go to clean the windows. I'm cleaning the windows. When I come back, they have it ready for me. I don't have to small talk. I don't have to do anything. I just grab it. Awesome. Thanks. We'll see you in a week. Right? That's school of thought one. The second school of thought on that is to not announce yourself, just start cleaning. Because if you have customers that have not been trained to not turn you away, a lot of times people go into route, they'll be like, oh, every time I go into a route place, they're like, oh, maybe next week. That's because you asked, right? That's not, they signed up for that. They signed up for every week or two weeks. Don't ask. I know companies who like almost all of their customers do that. You're doing something wrong. You're 100% doing something wrong if your customers are turning you away, right? I've had customers every now and then be like, oh, well, actually, you know, we're just not really that dirty. Oh, sorry. Hey, you, you signed up for weekly service. So we're going to keep you on that rotation. Otherwise, we'll have to charge you a little bit more because we're we're doing more work. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Okay. I guess I didn't know what I signed up for. Yeah, definitely. If you ever want to change it, let me know. We can recalculate pricing. No, no, that's fine. Right? Very, very seldom up until that point, if you start saying, oh, yeah, okay, I'll be next. Then you just wasted the, you, you drove all the way there. You wasted your time to do nothing and get no money. Now your entire route for the entire day, you made less money for the same amount of time that you would have if you just cleaned the glass and made the money, right? So pre-print the invoices, drop them off. One of the really big things that you can do to even speed that up is to keep a card on file. Now, I know credit card fees suck. I know on something small, it's even more. You know, you're paying 25 cents on top of your blah, blah. I get that. But... How many times have you been in a store, and especially the mom and pop places, they all want to talk, say, hey, how are you? And I want to spend time with them. I don't want to make them feel like I don't care because I sure do. But even if I spend five minutes talking to a customer, yes, I'm building my relationship, but that five minutes is more hourly than I would have spent on the fees for that. I mean, you're talking about a percentage and a 25 cent fee or whatever your processor charges, right? For a quarter, you're, you're, you could speed that up and not have any, go efficient. Remember, we're trying to be more efficient. If every stop of your day adds five minutes because they talk, you're building the relationship, but you're wasting five minutes, which means everything you make less, right? So if you keep a card on file, a simple credit card and say, hey, every time we're here, we're going to still drop off an invoice for you. So you have those records, but we're just going to charge you when it's done. Charge you when it's done. You don't have to worry about anything. We're not going to take up any more of your time. You're always with customers. You're busy. We're busy. We'll just go ahead and just run a quick charge. We send you a receipt every time. Now you get away from all the small talk and all the succubus that is taking up and making you make less money per day. Right? So speed it up. Remember, we're always looking for efficiencies. Always. Right? Another one is to always be selling. In route, the big thing is, is that you're always trying to thicken your route. You're always trying to get more dense route because if I could park a truck and walk, I have a couple of them where it's like a four hour walk. So I park a truck in one place and for four hours, I don't get back in that truck. Well, he probably does. The route guy probably, you know, takes a break in between or grabs water, goes and gets more towels, whatever it is. But in theory, they're not getting back into the truck to drive anywhere. There's no drive time. If I could just walk boom, 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 and I'm not driving, remember the rule, first rule, travel time kills your hourly. If I never have to get in that, I make the most amount of money I can, right? I'm the most efficient when I just carry my bucket, get my tools, and start cleaning. So 
you need to have really, really dense routes for that. And the only way you can do that is to continually sell. Our rule is when you do a route job, you are selling the places next to it every single time. Even if it's dropping off a card, hey, we're here again, just wanted to remind you who we are. It's almost a joke with some people because they've had that company for years. Every time I stop in, hey, they're still doing good work for you. Yeah, they are. All right, cool. We'll check with you next month. And they kind of laugh. I've had jobs where after two years, I got a phone call. They know me by name, right? They know my text by name because they've been in there so often. Hey, guess who just told me that they're, uh, you know, stopping window cleaning? Or guess who just told me that they're going to have to uh, double my price or the whatever? Oh, man, does this mean we get a shot? You get your shot, man. Like, they're almost happy because we've put in so much effort. They know who we are. If they mess up the other company, they know for a fact. I'm not going to mess up. They see me all the time. They see how serious we are. We're a real company, right? Remember, with Route, you're always going against the Bucket Bob. The guy's buying beer with his money. <laughs> Maybe you're buying beer with your money, but you're still running a company, right? But that's what you're competing against. You always have to be uh, selling. You always have to be selling. Because a big thing in Route is that Route will eventually go somewhere else, right? So you always have to be going in an upward trajectory. And the more you pack in there, the more money everything makes. If I can spend, if I'm spending one hour at a truck stop and I can now spend two hours at that same truck stop because I have that much more work, the first hour is now making more money because there's no travel time. I've just increased by adding more work. Not only have I increased more money, but I've increased more hourly for everything. It's all about density in route. So always be selling, always. And the best thing you can possibly do for yourself is schedule in weeks not months. If you're scheduling uh, once a month or uh, every two weeks, you know, we go uh, on the 1st and the 15th, twice a month. It's going to screw up your schedule. It's going to screw up everything. You're, you're just having a terrible time doing it. If you're on weeks, a calendar runs on weeks, not months, because some months have five weeks. Some months have four weeks. Some months, a, the first lands on a Saturday. Some months, uh, the first lands on a Friday. Don't do it that way. Do it by weeks. I always tell them, hey, I'd love to get you on every week, every two weeks. If somebody says they want it monthly, they go, well, we can do every four month or every four weeks, but it's going to cost you a bit more. You know, we'd rather have you on every two weeks. One week, two weeks, four weeks. Guess what? In your rotation of one week, two weeks, four weeks, there are some months you may have more cleanings, right? There's 52 weeks, which means that there's technically two extra weeks in a rotation. So in a every two-week rotation, there's an extra one. Every single one, there's an So you're making more money in the year. That's kind of nice. But the more important thing is, is that every week, I know my weekly jobs. Boom, 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 boom. But I also know that week one, week two, week three, and week four are all the same in that same rotation. Right? So if I have jobs that are every two weeks, I know that if it's week two in the rotation, I'm doing all my weekly stuff, boom, 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 boom. And I know that it's filled in with the week two stuff, boom, 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 boom. And then on the fourth week, I know that that's single week, every two weeks, and every four weeks, all in that same week. That's a very busy week for route. Scheduling it that way makes everything easier. Scheduling is what helps you. Travel time is what kills it for you. Scheduling on weeks makes it way easier, so much easier, and you make a ton more money. And remember, with route, we're trying to be more efficient. We're trying to make more money on route. We're trying to pack it in because guess what? If you can do $1,000 a week in route, we'll say, just $1,000, you could have one person doing $1,000 a week in route. That means you have a $52,000 a year account because that's an amoeba. It is an account as itself, route as a whole, right? If you have that, it's guaranteed money almost. With residential, you don't have that. 
with commercial you sort of do but they're so frequent that you know every six months you can't really count on that because there's six months between it right route is frequency frequency is security and security is money in your pocket man anyway i love route i hope you guys like route if you haven't uh done route it's something to try remember getting the ball rolling is the hardest part in route you can't, I mean, go back, watch, there's a bunch of other episodes on how to sell route, but you can't just do mailers, you gotta stop in, but man, once you start building route, the another nice thing about route is they just hire, you just work for them, they don't change things a lot, which is really, really nice, and uh, you can make a ton of money with it, so if you haven't, start doing route. Anyway, shameless plug number two, wait, you know that I'm a rep for windowcleaner.com, please let me put your orders in. That's what I do. That's how I make my living, literally. It is my only job. Almost my only job. A few other things, but that's my main my main job, right? So if you have an order, let me put it in. Just shoot me a text, 862-312-2026. I see your names pop across all the time. And I'm like, oh man, so-and-so put their own order in. It bums me out. So let me put your orders in. Cost you nothing extra. And it means the world to me. So 862-312-2026. Two, six. And, not kidding, American Window Cleaner Magazine. The greatest magazine. This magazine has been around since 1986. I have now owned it for two years. And uh, I hope it's amazing. I hope you really enjoy it. But the articles are great. There's posters. There's stickers. There is so many things you can learn from a lot of really, really good journalists. They're all the way from window cleaning to more business side of things really pretty interesting stuff so if you haven't yet go to awcmag.com get yourself a subscription it would mean the world to me and it would make you even better than you already are so until next week go out there get some route and more importantly be epic